जनरल कैरेक्टर्स जनरल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ फर्स्ट ए ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स और दिस फर्स्ट ए ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स आर आल्सो कॉल्ड एस अल्कली मेटल्स नाउ सी अर जनरल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आर जनरल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फर्स्ट ए ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स आर अल्कली मेटल्स सो इन दैट फर्स्ट वन ऑक्साइड्स एंड हाइड्रोक्साइड्स सी अर लिथियम मेटल द लिथियम मेटल इज फॉर्म्स लिथियम मोनोक्साइड एल आई टू वो or sometimes forms lithium peroxide li2o2 so means lithium metal is exhibit forms oxide and peroxides so whereas is considered sodium sodium is forms sodium peroxide and sodium superoxide so remaining metals so potassium Are rubidium, cesium. So these elements are generally form superoxides. So superoxide general form lies MO2. So means the superoxide behavior from top to bottom is increases. Means oxide character and peroxide character is decreases. And next one. so these metals are dissolves in a water it forms hydroxides for example metallic oxide is there so this metallic oxide it dissolves in water forms metallic hydroxide okay mvh and next one if it is peroxide is dissolves in water it gives m plus oh minus plus h2o okay m plus oh minus h2o next perox superoxide mo2 is dissolves in water gives m plus oh minus plus h2 so this is our h2o2 this is h2o2 plus h2 so what happen see it this is our oxide this is peroxide now last one is superoxide all are dissolves in water gives different products see here this is our metallic hydroxide this is metallic hydroxide which containing peroxide here metallic hydroxide is there peroxide is there and liberation of hydrogen gas so this is the general property or general characteristics of first a group element of oxides and hydroxides so based on this we we can easily separate out if it is peroxide is present that may be metallic peroxide if it is only metallic hydroxide is there that is your metallic oxide if it is hydrogen gas is liberated that is your peroxide sorry superoxide so generally superoxides are are shows paramagnetic property generally superoxides are exhibit paramagnetic property because in outermost shell in peroxides especially in outermost shell is containing one unpaired electron due to the presence of unpaired electron it exhibit paramagnetic character remaining oxides are exhibit diamagnetic character because an outermost shell the unpaired electron is absent due to the presence of due to the absence of electron remaining oxides are exhibit diamagnetic behavior only potassium superoxide is exhibit 
electromagnetic character because outermost shell containing one unpaired electron due to that it exhibit more attractions so in, att in, in the magnetic field these are weakly attracted together it exhibit paramagnetic behavior so no problem that is and next one is next property is halides halides means generally the metals are reacted with the halogens produce halides means metallic chloride so metallic chloride or metallic fluoride or metallic iodide except lithium fluoride remaining halides are easily soluble in water because remaining halides are ionic halides nature lithium halide lithium fluoride is coal in nature due to lithium fluoride that in lithium fluoride lithium having very less atomic size due to that more negative it is distorted more negative charge due to the presence of more negative charge it having more lattice energy due to that it is insoluble in water or less solubility in nature and cesium iodide here more atomic size is there due to that it is a very highly unstable compound and also insoluble in nature so in reactivity of halogens where different types of halogens are there one is fluorine chlorine bromine iodine so in this the reactivity order so which halogen is more reactive compared to remaining halogens in that the reactivity order is the fluorine is more reactive than chlorine than bromine than iodine this is the reactivity order towards to first a group elements so means fluorine is more reactive than chlorine because fluorine is a very less atomic size and more electronegative nature due to that it is easily bind out or easily attracted to each other so due to that it shows fluorine is more reactive than chlorine so these are the general characteristics of first year group elements or alkali metals in that first one is oxides and hydroxides and next one is the halides is completed and next one is and most important character that is diagonal relationship diagonal relationship of lithium and magnesium metal so this is a very important property diagonal relationship of lithium and magnesium metal so we already we know that lithium belongs to first a group element magnesium is belongs to second a group element means both are different group elements but even though these are show same characteristics same properties for example lithium in lithium parameter is 159 159 pm magnesium is 160 pm so parameter pm means parameter so this character is very close to each other and also properties also similar means the first a group element show similar properties with second a group elements that property is called as diagonal relationship now what are the properties are similar in lithium and magnesium see here properties see here so we already we know that lithium is a hard substance lithium and magnesium so lithium is a hard substance lithium and magnesium is a hard and soft substance means lithium is a hard substance magnesium is a soft substance and next one lithium and magnesium chlorides okay magnesium halides especially lcl and mgcl2 
सो दीज आर सालिबुल इन इतनाल मीन्स अल्कोहल सर इतनोल मीन्स इन अल्कोहल सो इन अल्कोहल लिथियम क्लोराइड एंड मैग्नीशियम क्लोराइड इज इजीली सालिबुल नेचर बट रिमेनिंग मेटल्स आर इनसालिबुल इन इतनोल दैट इज आवर फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी एंड नेक्स्ट लिथियम एंड मैग्नीशियम is easily reacted with nitrogen metal so nitrogen produce lithium nitride and magnesium nitride okay so means nitrates are produced from lithium and magnesium when it is reacted with nitrogen but remaining metal for example sodium is there the sodium is not reacted with nitrogen or calcium is not reacted with nitrogen because this is our similar property so this is called as diagonal relationship or i mean two minutes okay and next one this lithium and magnesium metals are produce crystallized substance one is lithium chloride dehydrated mgcl2 octa h2o so these are form crystallized crystallization substance means lithium and magnesium is act as a di liquescent substances so these are the diagonal relationship of lithium and magnesium 